kitchen let's do together the sausage bread let's have a look at the ingredients first i will show you what i need for the bread and then i will show you the filling okay i've taken one egg i will need quarter teaspoon of the salt one and three fourth cup of the all-purpose flour i've nicely swifted and kept it here two tablespoon of the sugar half cup of the uh, milk and I will need some yeast as well. The ingredients needed for the filling. I have taken four sausages. Uh, from this you can make five pieces of the uh, bread, okay? Uh, I, but I'm going to make only four because I need another one uh, round of the flour for some other purpose. So that's why I'm doing only four. And uh, you need some mozzarella cheese. And I have here in this bowl some onion finely chopped, red capsicum and some the corn here along with this I have added some mayonnaise here okay now I'm going to mix this up very well and keep it aside and I have here the tomato ketchup remember this is a homemade tomato ketchup what I have done if you want please have a look at the link I will share the link in my description box if you don't have mayonnaise you can use your garlic paste also even for the garlic paste I will post the link in the description box I need about two teaspoons of the yeast. Now first what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat a pan. Add first the butter, about two table, three tablespoons of the butter into it. Let me focus the camera there. I have added the three tablespoons of the sugar, uh, sorry, the uh, butter. And then I added the half cup of the milk. And then I added the sugar, what I had kept, two tablespoons. And now I'm giving it a good mix. I'm going to dissolve the sugar until then boil this, okay? See the sugar granules are still seen. I'm going to boil that. Okay, like it's fine. Just add the egg there. Spin off the flame now. Because there is enough heat from the milk and the other stuff, so I don't want the egg to be boiled or anything. Just want them to get mixed there very well, that's all. Let's wait for that to cool down completely. I'm going to add two teaspoons of the yeast to the mixture here. Now, before you add, have an eye on your temperature of the milk. As I said in previous videos, you should not kill the yeast by adding into hot milk or any liquid. Okay? Just have an eye on that. Now I let this to rest for 15 to 20 minutes till nicely the yeast will develop well the yeast is developed well now I'm gonna add in the flour bit by looking to this now you don't have to do anything just I'm going to bring all this down here because it's all stuck inside there and then I'm going to cover this and keep for at least minimum one now till such time the dough doubles in size now one hour I might say is according to my place the current scenario the country in you live the place you live matters a lot for the yeast to develop so just have an eye on that See my uh, dough has nicely come up. I'm going to deflate it. Let me touch my hand with a little bit of the olive oil so that they don't stick to my hands. Okay, now let's take it out. Need a twirl. The other way to cut this is, okay, I'll show you another way to cut this. See? Okay. So, now, use your ruler or your hand, whatever convenient for you. 
all you have to do is just to fit that sausage there roll the sausage that's all so just wiping if there's any water there bring the sausage there okay keep the sausage there roll the sausage in it from all the side all the way down actually i'm going to put some flour on the uh, this thing, this place because it's getting stuck, right? Now I'm going to put it on that. I need it some flour. Okay, now I have made four of them like this, right? Like sausage plate. I've completely covered them and I have kept. Now I'm going to cut them. I'll show you what I'm going to do, okay? First one, okay? Minimum 10 or 12 cuts you keep that side. Keep smaller cuts so that it's easy for you to push it aside. Okay. Another cut. This side. Another cut. This side. Well, I have kept my uh, oven heated at um, for preheating it. Okay. Put it on to the sausage completely. Adding mozzarella on top, how much of it you want. You want more stuff more, you want less, put less. It's all up to you how much of you want to do it. Okay. I've added some ketchup on top. Now I'm going to bake this for 20 minutes at 175 degrees. 